Lance Hatch lined up on the starting grid where competitors in the BOAC International 500 race. Third round in the World Sports Car Championship. Bruce McLaren was partnered by Denny Hull. Dick Thompson was to share the wheel of the experimental gas turbine car with Hugh Dibley. But despite international competition, the Porsche team were hot favourites. Still, there were plenty of others in the race, and Joe Bonnier in a Lola wasn't worried. There were only seconds to go to the start. As they roared off into the first circuit, one man was missing from the star list of drivers. He was Jim Clark. At short notice, he was switched to another race in Germany. Even as the sports cars swept into the early bends of the brand circuit, Clark was racing towards his death several hundred miles away. But unknowing, the drivers at Brands Hatch raced on. The gas turbine car came to grief after only 15 minutes when his throttle jammed. Driver Dick Thompson was OK, but the car was out of the race. Showing well was the Ford GT40 of Jackie Eakes and Brian Redmond, hotly pursued by a Porsche. The Lotus Europa, driven by Jack Oliver and John Miles. In the Porsche pits, frantic activity as Joe Siffert and Gerhard Mitter change places. Drivers keep cool behind the wheel, but appear to let off steam during pit stops. Refueled, the Porsche got back into the race in a bid to make up time on Eeks and Redmond, whose Ford was going very well. Into the closing seconds of the race, the checkered flag came down and number four, the Ford GT40, Brian Redmond driving, was the winner. Eeks and Redmond, two of the youngest drivers in international motor racing, had trounced the entire German Works Porsche team with a 22-second victory over the favourites. But it was a win clouded by the tragic death of Jim Clark.